Welcome back to Dark Horse Auto and Diesel. Today I'm going to show you how to lubricate your Dexter Easy Lube axles. The process here is pretty simple and uh, pretty messy at the same time, but it's a lot easier than the old style. So as far as tools you'll need, you'll need a jack, a screwdriver, a grease gun, a rag, and some kind of container to put the old grease into, and optionally would be a pair of gloves. So the first thing you need to do is get the axle or the tire lifted up off the ground because you'll need to spin it to do this properly. And then you'll want to take and pop this little rubber cap off here. This is how you can identify whether or not you have a Dexter Easy Lube axle. There may be some other brands that have a similar setup. I don't know for sure, but... If there is, I imagine the process is probably quite similar here. So right in the center here, there is a grease fitting. And you just simply take your grease gun, stick it on there, give the tire a spin, and start pumping grease. You want it spinning while you do this so that it distributes the grease through the whole bearing. If it's been a long time since you've done this, you may want to go ahead and have a fresh tube of grease on hand. So as you can see, this one's taken a lot. Which is not good. Neither was that. Oh, that's real good on the bearings. All that water. So now is when it starts to get really messy. And why I recommend having gloves. You're going to want to do this until you see a decent bit of the new grease coming out. And as you're going, to avoid making a mess all over the place, wipe it off like that. You can kind of see I'm starting to get some of the new color grease in there, the red stuff. But... I'm not satisfied with the amount coming out yet. Nice. Ugh, come on. Like I said, this is a pretty messy job, but it's still less messy than the old style and far less time consuming. You could tell in this one, a lot of the old grease had a lot of water in it, and that's why it's so runny. This thing's been sitting for, I would say, the better part of about seven years or so. Now, if you keep up on this, you don't need to put quite so much grease into it because you won't have all this nasty stuff in here. I'm getting quite a bit of the new red grease in there. You kind of see it. So we'll call that good enough. Get most of that crap cleaned up out of there. And then take your cap, get it cleaned off reasonably well, and then just stick it back in there. Now we can go ahead and set it back down on the ground. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you.